Kilauea volcano on Hawaii Island is erupting once again. Following a sudden increase in earthquake activity on Wednesday afternoon, and an increase in the U.S. Geological Survey volcanic alert level from advisory to watch, lava is now filling the summit crater once again. The alert level is now at warning. At approximately 3.20 p.m. Hawaii time on September 29, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory detected glow at the Kilauea summit. Webcam images revealed that an eruption had commenced within the caldera. As of now, all activity is confined to the summit area within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Webcams show fissures at the base of the crater generating lava flows on the surface of the lava lake that was last active in May of this year. The Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency issued this radio message at 5 p.m. This is a civil defense message. This is a Kilauea volcano update for Wednesday, September 29th. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has revised alert status for Kilauea volcano from watch to warning and the aviation color code from orange to red. A warning status means an eruption is imminent, underway, or suspected. Aviation color code red means an eruption is underway or suspected, with significant emissions of volcanic ash into the atmosphere likely. Kilauea volcano is currently erupting in Hale Mauma'o crater at the Kilauea summit. Eruption activity is confined to Hale Mauma'o crater and the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory is monitoring and assessing the situation. Because the eruption is at the summit of Kilauea volcano, the primary hazard is volcanic gas and ash, which can have effects downwind. VOG has been observed downwind from Kilauea volcano. For information on gas hazards, please visit the Kilauea status website. If you experience foggy conditions in your area, limit or suspend outdoor activity. For those with pre-existing respiratory conditions, the safest place is indoors or away from the area experiencing fog. Please keep yourself informed. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Signs of an eruption began suddenly on Wednesday at noon when increased earthquake activity and changes in the patterns of ground formation at Kilauea's summit began occurring. It was an indication that magma was moving in the subsurface. Although an eruption was not certain at that time, the volcanic alert level was raised from advisory to watch. The eruption began a short time later. An early look at the activity is seen here in this photo taken by the USGS as vigorous lava fountains formed in the middle part of the solidified lava lake. These animated thermal webcam images were taken between 2.45 p.m. and 5.45 p.m., and the start of the eruption was recorded. Lava flows have covered most of the crater floor, and the solidified island created during the last eruption is visible in the center. At approximately 4.43 p.m., another vent opened on the west wall of the crater. The vent area and lava fountain can be seen through volcanic gas in this photo. The eruptive activity increased in this area, and by 5 p.m., another vent was growing on the crater wall. The USGS published this map, showing the location of the new fissures at the summit. The new eruption is already generating a vigorous plume of volcanic gas. Sulfur dioxide interacts in the atmosphere with oxygen, moisture, dust, and sunlight to eventually form the volcanic smog. Known in Hawaii as VOB, it can be transported downwind and can have an effect on island air quality. Scientists say the opening phases of eruptions are dynamic and uncertain, and that the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory will continue to monitor Kilauea closely. HEO says it is in constant communication with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, as well as the County of Hawaii Civil Defense Agency as this situation evolves. The new eruption at Kilauea Volcano continues and the first videos of the event have made it to the internet. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory is monitoring the activity from a closed area within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Among the first videos was this one showing the dominant lava fountain that emerged on the summit crater floor. Overnight, scientists say the solidified floor of the lava lake was already covered by more than 36 feet or 11 meters of new molten lava. The level of the activated lava lake continues to slowly rise. The eruption began on the floor at 3.20 p.m., and an hour later, a new vent opened on the west wall of the crater. The initial moments were captured in this video. In time, the activity on the west wall grew to include multiple vents. 
With the new eruption comes a new special weather statement from the National Weather Service in Honolulu. Forecasters said areas of volcanic glass, or Pelly's hair, were observed near the summit Wednesday evening and were reported by pilots in the vicinity. On the ground, scientists have documented tephra accumulating downwind of the active vents. Residents and visitors are urged to minimize exposure to volcanic emissions. Those with respiratory sensitivities should take extra precaution to minimize exposure. As of Thursday morning, the current volcano alert level for Kilauea remains at warning, and the current aviation color code is red. At this time, all activity is confined to the summit area within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Scientists say they will continue to monitor the eruption for changes in activity and volcanic hazards. During the trial, the court heard testimony from Clinton Yamada, Dan Dennison, Lino Kamakal, Ivan Tamora, and received exhibits into evidence. This included photographs, a video recording, as well as a map and web page from the Department of Transportation. Court also heard arguments by counsel. The court makes the following decision based upon the credible evidence at trial. There is no dispute in this case that this incident occurred on July 17th, 2019 in the district of North Hilo County in state of Hawaii. All of defendants in this case were charged with obstructing in violation of Hawaii Vice Statutes, section 711-1105-1A and 5. One of the elements of Hawaii Vice Statute Section 711-1105-1A is that an individual knowingly or recklessly obstructs any highway or public passage. Obstruct is defined in Hawaii Vice Statute Section 711-1100. Obstruct means renders impassable without unreasonable inconvenience or hazard. Mr. Yamada testified in this case. He is a civil engineer with the State of Hawaii Department of Transportation for 19 years in the Highways Division for the Island of Hawaii. He reviews all of the permits that come in. There are three different kinds of permits he reviews. Permit to perform work upon state highways, oversize and overweight vehicle permits, occupancy and use permits. In this case, there was testimony from Chief Lino Kamakao regarding wide load vehicles going up Malka on Mauna Kea Access Road for TMT and that access on Mauna Kea Access Road on July 17, 2019 was restricted. Mr. Yamada testified that no permits were submitted for review in July 2019 and no permits were issued. No permits issued for movement of oversized or overweight vehicles based upon the evidence in this case. That is the record in this case. Evidence that Mauna Kea Access Road was closed or restricted to the public, coupled with no permits, equals no obstruction. There would be no unreasonable inconvenience or hazard. The court does appreciate the example the state gave in its closing argument regarding road race or marathon. If a third party blocks the road, you're still blocking a closed road. However, in this case, the testimony is that there were no permits issued no permits for any oversized or overweight vehicles as described by Chief Kamakao in his testimony regarding wide load vehicles. The court cannot find that there was unreasonable inconvenience or hazard. The state has failed to meet their burden beyond a reasonable doubt as to the element of obstruction. Court finds Marie Brown and Renette Robinson not guilty of Hawaii Revised Statutes Section 711-1105-1A and finds Kelly Iwane and Maxine Kahaulelio not guilty of Hawaii Revised Statutes Section 711-1105-1A and 5. Anything further from the state? The current volcano alert level for Kilauea has been raised from advisory to watch and the current aviation code has been raised from yellow to orange amid an ongoing swarm of earthquakes beneath the south part of the volcano caldera. The U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory on Tuesday morning issued a new volcanic activity notice which reported Kilauea is not erupting. However, the onset of the earthquake swarm, 
which began on the evening of August 23rd, was coincident with a change in the style of ground deformation at the summit, potentially indicating the shallow movement of magma beneath the south part of the caldera. The activity is confined entirely within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The earthquake swarm began around 4.30 p.m. on Monday evening in Hawaii and continued through the night and into the early morning on Tuesday. At about 1.30 a.m. this morning, the swarm intensified in this region, indicating an intrusion of magma occurring 1 to 2 kilometers, or about a mile, beneath the south caldera. Over 140 earthquakes have been recorded as of 4.30 this morning. The largest was a magnitude 3.3, but the majority of earthquakes were less than a magnitude one. Small earthquakes are continuing at a rate of at least 10 per hour. Scientists say webcams and satellite imagery show no evidence of lava at the surface. HEO says it will continue to monitor the situation and will issue additional messages and alert level changes as warranted by changing activity.